don't forget you, you need to let's say get the get the right leg locked that's it perfect got your hand flat and then good shot look at that see your pause at the top that's much better Already. Yeah, that one, that, that one, and then so so the, the, they're both going to be pretty much straight as they put it, but that leg's going to be locked, and that one's going to be bent, maybe uh, exactly as they are now, but just oh, like widen your legs a little bit. That's it, and then try and get that cute onto your chest, and then you're going to go backwards and forwards onto the cue, pause on the cue ball, mm -hmm. and then as you pull the cue back, pause at the top of the backswing, and then just like a straight motion through. See, when you pull the cue back, then you, you literally only only pulled it back to there. You've got to, you don't forget you've got to pull the cue back to create the power. So you need, uh, when you're playing a shot like this, just screw the cue ball back, say, behind the line. You need the power on the backswing because if you only pull the cue through to there, you can't push it through very fast. So just pull the cue back to the top of your phone. See, so your hand's a little bit, you, you, you're a little bit too close, that's it, there. And then as you, as you draw the cue back, roughly to there, pause at the top, because all the power comes from not how fast you pull it back, it comes from there to what you do from there. So you got the reaction on the cue ball, though. Yeah. You missed the pot, but I think the reason why you missed the pot is because the cue come away from your chest again. So you just just need to get it sort of touching your chest, which keeps it in a straight line. Good shot, look. That's it. It's because the, when it touches your chest, it, it guides it in a straight line. When it's out, when you play, I think you'd be okay when you play shots slow. It's when you play it hard, you, the cue can move, and that's why that what you did is as you push through, you went like this across the white when it wasn't on your chest, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, we'll play a shot with top spin. So we've just been, so, obviously, everything's exactly the same as we just played. Stance is the same, cue action's the same, but what you need to be this time, instead of your hand like um, what, what's your name again? Sorry, it's the way Tom was at first, he had his he had the, the the palm of his hand up off the table like this. When you when your hand is on the table, if you just lower your knuckles and raise your knuckles, depending on where you need to be on the white. So, if I only hit the white at the top, I'll have my knuckles higher. So there, look, I can, it allows me to keep the cue straight and get to the top of the white. If I only hit low on the white, I just lower the knuckles. Look. And gets me to the bottom of the ball. You know, you don't need to do this, or I don't need to be striking up. Just keep the knuckles flat. Over it. So this time, because we're going to play a top spin, you need the hand to be higher. Look, which allows me to get to the top of the white. Now I don't need to do that because now look at look at the angle of my cue. It's like I'm playing a swerve shot. So the cue, the actual the angle that the cue comes in doesn't change. It's just I, I raise my knuckles, lower the knuckles. So. I'm going to play the top spin, raise the knuckles and top through. Pull that a bit. That's it. That's it. And a little bit, see, you, you, you're really, really far away. And then you're stopping, sort of two or three inches before the cue ball so you just need to push everything a little bit closer to the cue ball yeah that's perfect now to get to the top of the ball if you just raise your knuckles slightly higher see not your fingers just your knuckles which which gets that higher right which allows you to get to the top of the ball look good shot the top spin you got on the white there yeah and what happens is when you're playing a top spin if you don't get the, the height with your hand, you end up just hitting the middle of the white and you play almost a stun rather than get the top. Yeah? If you were playing a stun shot, then you would just have your hand normal to find the middle. Yeah. Yeah? Have we go, mate.
That's it. You got. You got. That's it. You just. You just a little bit far back from the white there. Maybe literally, maybe just half an inch closer with your hand. But you've got your knuckles high. Everything looks perfect there, and you and you've kept your cue in this time. Good shot. The reaction on the white. I feel better. It's a good shot that. And you've kept everything there. Your stance looks good, and you've kept the cue. Into, into your side as well as I know it's a lot to remember you're thinking on oh, your stance the cue action the pause keep the cue in but the more that you practice it the more you'll just it'll all just come natural right. shot shot just see you play just see you play that one again play it once more just try and hit it a little bit harder. So you've got you've lifted your hand back up now. You need to get get your hand flat. Get get your that's it. You got your knuckles high. You got the top spin on though. Right again. Don't forget as you come back, you're just gonna pause. It. So as you, you know, you're gonna queue up to the ball, and when when you think right, that's where I'm gonna hit it. Stop, and then there, pause, and through in a straight line. The end, flat, the end on the, that's it. Good shot. Feel better? Yeah. So right, that's it, the right leg, right leg lock, and then the left leg. And, and you see, see now you, that's it, you're naturally going to hit the white in the middle there, so you need to raise your knuckles up so it allows you to get higher on the white, that's it. And then with you, you need to just make sure you keep that cue sort of tucked into your chest and then come back, pause, and then through in a straight line. See, it, when you miss one like that, it's just because the cue is not tight on your chest, it's because it comes away. So try and try and try and get it in, and then, as you know, it's touching. You can just pull it back along your chest and then push it through along your chest. See, every time you miss one, it hits there. Yeah. And that's that's all that is is because if you if you watch my cue, all it's doing is as you're coming back because your cue is coming away. As it comes back, it goes through like this which pushes the white onto the left side of the yellow. If it's touching, you can only you can only go through in a straight line like that, where if it's slightly off, it comes back and it can either go that way or it can go that way. And every time you miss one, this is what you do. Because it goes, goes from that to So don't don't be scared when you're queuing up. You know, don't be scared to sort of queue up to it. You can queue up to it as many times as you want, and just stop on the cue ball, and then back. See, every time it's the same place. Yeah. It's just because you're coming. I'm not feeling comfortable. It's just yeah. What does it feel like? You're pulling it out. Yeah. Try and try and stand a little bit further this way because you might. I think what you're doing is you naturally you're used to queuing up there, but because you're pulling your cue in, the cue, you're pulling it in, aren't you? But I think if you got your body a bit further this way, it would naturally be on your chest. See, every single time it goes that way. Yeah, you feel it going that way. I'm trying to pull it into me all the time. I'm trying to feel my chest. Oh, you're trying to feel yeah. it, so every time you're pulling, pulling back it, yeah. along it, yeah, yeah. Rather than just pushing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you. In this case, you might be better off just, um, just, just get get down as you normally would. Let me see it again. How you would normally put it like that? Yeah, I'm pulling it. In. You're pulling it in, aren't you, to get it in? 
Did you pull it in like that then, or did you just play it? Just, if, just, just play it normally. Just play it how you would normally play. You don't forget, you've got to get to the top of the white. And don't forget, it's not, it's not how fast you pull it back. You've got to pull it back in a straight line, mm -hmm. and then push it through. You accelerate on the way through. That was much better, much better that time. Let's try it once more. It's, I know exactly what it is you're doing. You just like subconsciously need to stop. Like as it as it comes, I think I think you're pulling it back straight. But as you deliver it, you're trying to find it. Trying to, yeah. trying to push it along your chest, aren't you? Yeah. I think you maybe just need to not forget about trying to push it along your chest this time, and just concentrate. And when you pull the cue back, push it through straight. But forget about your chest. I think. But even when you don't push it on your chest, your cue is going that way. All, all it is is just the way that you're pushing the cue through. It's not coming through dead straight. It's going like that across the ball. Yeah. That's it. I think it's just practice to just get. get it's about practicing. Yeah, practicing. Yeah, and and perhaps because your body's in a different place, it's literally just practice and practice the shots. I think everything that I show you all today is going to feel a little bit awkward to begin with, but after you've put you know hours and hours of practicing everything that i've shown you will, will come natural and it definitely will improve you i mean you do have to maybe take a few steps back to allow you to sort of go forward with it is there anything that either of you would like to you know for me to go through anything in particular that you're not comfortable with as in you know if you're playing screw shots or something with side or is there anything that you would like to, to ask that I can that I can go through and show you how to play differently or anything that you struggle with that you don't know how to play. Whenever I'm playing like a lot of side, try and play a lot of side, I normally miss cue. Like, yeah. What in, in what in, do you want to come and show me? A, like, give me an example of how in, in what in what way and how. Like, like when I used to play with bottom, I used to go like down and then I just chip the white. Yeah. I'm doing the same with the like right and left hand side. Yeah. So if you were what so like if you were playing that with right hand side, you mean I would probably play it with not enough because it would feel uncomfortable. Because you feel like you're gonna miss cue. Yeah. Yeah. Well obviously the first thing and it goes without saying but you need to when you're gonna play a shot with side you need to make sure that you've got you're loaded up with chalk because obviously when you're hitting next you need to have a lot of chalk. But again, when you're playing with side you naturally want to, you know, as you're pulling the cue back, like, um, like he was just doing that, as, you, as you're pulling the cue back, you naturally want, because I'm going to play with right hand side, you naturally want the cue to do this, yeah, because you want to get the right hand side on, but you still have to deliver the cue in a straight line, it's just that you're aiming with right hand side, so if I just come around there and show you three, if I'm queuing up here with right hand side, I'm queuing up straight, and that's where I'm going to hit it straight, but with side. What you naturally want to do is this, because you naturally want to get the side on, and I think that's what he's saying, is because he's playing with right hand side here, what he wants to do is this, and this is why you'll miss cue watch. He pulls the cue back, and then he wants to get side on, so he does this, because he's trying to get side. You just need to concentrate, if you, if you just stand behind me a little bit more. So I'm going to play this with right hand side so the cue ball comes up somewhere near this pocket. I'm not going to pull the cue back and then do this. I'm going to keep the cue onto my chest. Keep it straight, watch. So there, see the right hand side when I'm hitting it? Where I'm aiming there is exactly where I'm going to hit the wire. There, so it's there. Right hand side, come back straight. Yeah? So, if we put if we put the spot. Okay, so we'll see you again in part three for more Gareth Potts pool coaching. Please check out homeleisuredirect.com forward slash TV.